Again, soft hands and feel for the puck are important while passing and receiving passes. Concentrate on placing every pass perfectly on your teammate's stick. A pass is not complete until your teammate receives the puck. You should never waste a scoring opportunity or make a costly giveaway because of a poor pass. We find that when players concentrate, their passes tend to be right on target. There are three steps for controlled passing. Wind up, sweep, and follow through. With your hands approximately one glove length apart, reach the puck behind you. Cup the puck by rolling your wrist so the blade of the stick tilts over the puck. Pass across your body. Do not point your feet at your target. From your wind-up, sweep the puck across your body through the zone of control to your front foot. The zone of control is the distance from your wind-up to your front foot. The further you sweep the puck by guiding it towards your target, the more accurate your pass will be. Continue pushing your hands, the stick, and the puck towards your target. At the end of every pass, point the stick blade directly at the target, looking down the stick shaft. During the follow-through, turn your wrist over so that you can see the top of your watch. Just like the forehand pass, when making a backhand pass, wind up, sweep through the zone of control, and follow through pointing your stick blade directly at your target. Never slap at the puck, instead slide it across your body in a controlled sweeping motion. Remember to always cup the puck and transfer your body weight from your back foot to your front foot as the puck sweeps across your body. Always receive a pass so you're in a position to make a play. Greet the puck at your front foot and gently slow it down through the zone of control until the puck is behind your back foot. Now you're ready to pass, skate, or shoot. This is the exact same sweeping motion used when giving a pass except in the reverse direction. Here are a few fancy ways to receive the puck. Practice these to develop your eye-hand coordination and feel for the puck. When receiving a pass while moving, do not skate directly away from the passer looking back over your shoulder. This is a recipe for a big trouble. In hockey, we call that a suicide pass. Instead, learn to create passing lanes by cutting across the ice. This makes for a much easier pass, one in which you will receive with your head still attached to the rest of your body. A drop pass is a great way to mislead opponents. Simply leave or drop the puck for your teammate and continue skating to the open. Drop passes require good on-ice vision to see and set up a play with a teammate. After receiving a drop pass, accelerate around the opponent. Another effective play is the fake drop pass. Just when the defenseman reads the drop pass, fake the drop and accelerate around the opponent. Both the drop pass and the fake drop pass should be stressed at all levels as they teach you to read the ice and work with your teammates. Yeah!